another episode of Cook Recipes Like a Pro. And today, just like a pro, we are going to make tuna burgers. Tuna burgers. What are we going to put in our tuna burgers? We're gonna put green onions, we're gonna put dill, we're gonna put garlic, and together this will become a delicious tuna burger for you to enjoy. You can serve it for lunch, you can serve it as a snack, you can serve it for dinner. It's wonderful with a fresh salad next to it. It's a great light meal. Let's start. Okay, let's go over the ingredients for our delicious tuna burgers. Uh, first of all, these are the tuna I used and I used two cans of this size, so each one is 5.4 ounces of tuna. So two of these, beautiful. Then we have one cup of potatoes. There's our tuna. We have one cup of shredded cabbage. We have two tablespoons, fine. And we have two tablespoons chopped green onions. And we have a half cup of parsley. You will see how easy is this one. I've got here salt, black pepper, I am adding one tablespoon of chia seeds just because I have it. This is chia seed that I soaked in water. Chia seeds will help you bind everything. And this is something that I learned from my vegan daughter. She lives in New York, she's a strict vegan, and instead of using eggs, she uses chia seeds to bind her dishes. Also, she uses flaxseed. She says it really binds it nice. So the last thing I have here is one egg. That's it. We're gonna mix everything. We're gonna give it a nice mix. Our mixture is ready. And you know, if you see that the mixture is a little bit dry, just add maybe another half egg or even an, uh, another or even a whole egg if it needs. You really want it to bind together so that you can make patties out of it. Okay, so we're gonna add a little bit oil, not too much. And for those of you that know me, you know how much I love to mix olive oil and vegetable oil. And of course it brings up the burning temperature for the olive oil. A good way to cheat on the olive oil, right? Okay, excellent. So we are getting ready. Our mixture is ready. We let it sit a little bit for the flavors to blend nice. The way I measure is about a half cup. The size of a half cup is for each burger. There we go. And right here now it's really important that we don't touch it until we see that the bottom side is very crusty so here i'm gonna do another one make sure it's about the size of a half cup so that all your tuna burgers are the same size okay so if I'm serving this to a child, then I would serve one of these. And for an adult, I would probably serve two of these. Here we go, and here we go. I'm gonna make all the tuna burgers, and then I will be ready to show you how they look. So this is how they look, my friends. Make sure not to put any spatula in there. Don't try to mix them. Do not do anything. This is when they create the body of the burger. Let them cook. Let them get crispy at the bottom. The last thing I'm doing, I am covering the pan. And the reason why I'm covering the pan, 
I would like to make sure that it cooks nice from the inside as well. And to make sure that we are not burning them, the heat is on medium only, not more than medium. You want it to, uh, to really cook well before you can uh, flip them to the other side. So we're gonna keep them covered and we're gonna check on them about five minutes from now. Whenever I uncover a pan, I always uncover it this way, that, so that the lid protects my face from all the splashing. Very important. Okay, I think we can check and see. We might be ready to flip, let me see. Okay, gently, gently, check and see. Yeah, yeah, we're starting to get ready, but you can see. They stayed, they remained, the, the burger remained the whole thing. It didn't fall apart. It's because we were very careful and gently I am turning it, as you can see, beautiful. And the same with this one. Oh, I can see myself this evening squeezing a little lemon on top and enjoying a beautiful, healthy, a beautiful tuna burger. And again, I am going to cover it again, my friends. You want them to caramelize, but you also want to cook the inside. There we go. We are now on about medium low, not more than that, and we're gonna let them cook. And I will check again in five minutes. Our delicious burgers are ready and you can see how nice they cooked. They're very crispy from the outside and they are nice and soft from the inside and they look great. Serve this with my lemon spread, which is in another video and you can find it. And I will post a link to the lemon spread video and to the garlic spread video so that you can enjoy these two epic spreads with these delicious burgers. And here you can see, I'm gonna get closer. Bon appetit, my friends. Enjoy one more healthy recipe.